I don't, I don't need any of that. Okay, now I think there might be something for us to do in here. I think. I don't remember if we've done it before or not. Actually, you know what? There's not. Uh, we, we haven't. A ride Pokemon campaign. Yes, I'd like to see the Alola Ride Show. Alola Ride Show. At 44. Exciting and thrilling. We will show you the exhilarating ride life. Alola Tourist Bureau presents the Alola Ride Show. It starts now. The first entry is a wild bull Pokemon, Tauros. Oh, Tauros. Flash, flash. Tauros is four foot seven tall, four foot seven inches tall, and weighs 194.9 pounds. Its athletic and well-built body is strong enough to break even rocks. Tauros has gained overwhelmingly popular. La, 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 la. Tauros has gained overwhelming popularity among riders with wild spirits. Flash, flash. Yes, I'd like to keep watching the show. The next Pokemon is a draft horse Pokemon, Mudsdale. Ooh, Mudsdale. Flash, flash. Cloppity-clop. Mudsdale is 8 foot 2 inches tall and weighs 2,028.3 pounds. Its wild and forceful gallop will let you go through rocky and or rough and rocky pads. Tough riders are thrilled with Mudsdale's powerful gallop. Flash, flash. Yes, I would. Today's last entry, it's the super power Pokemon, Machamp. Yeah, Machamp. Flash, 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 flash. Oh, God. Machamp is five foot three inches tall and weighs 286.6 pounds. Its warm and gentle run pushes obstacles without any problems. The ride gives the best time for riders who want, whoa. The ride gives the best time to riders who want to feel the warmness of Pokemon. Flash, 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 flash. This concludes the Alola Ride Show. Please contact Alola Transit for your Pokemon ride needs. Thank you. There are giveaways for you. You know, I... I totally get it. I really do. I truly do. I get why they would want me to do that early in the game. But I wouldn't want to do that because it spoiled it. That was why I didn't do it before. I think there's one more for us to do. The Beware Costume Show is starting shooting. Do you want to watch too? Great, one more customer coming through. Go on, take a seat. The show is about to begin. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Beware Costume Show. As I'm sure you know, Beware may look cute, but they're actually very, very dangerous. So in this show, there will be no real beware making an appearance. Please relax and enjoy. Now, without further delay, here are our lovely beware. Beware! Wow, they look so real! Alola! Where beware where? Just look at them, ladies and gentlemen. They're more active than usual. Huh? Now, who could be in that third beware costume? Are you a healthy beware? The more be well, the merrier. New beware is motionless. Oh, could it be a real one? Oh, Eek, it's real. Everyone, beware the beware. We got to get out of here. Where? Beware? Where? Where? Beware. Beware! He said, where? <laughs> hey, Freddy, you. Now, the guy on Route 12? 11? 11 or 12. Oh, God, I didn't heal. The beware on Route 11 or 12, whichever one that is, that one I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of this one. This one's just a pushover. He just a little pushover. Where, 
Where did the beware go? Did, did you? Oh, thank you, brave trainer. Thanks to you, nobody was hurt. Oh, I'm so relieved now I could cry. How can I ever show my gratitude? Please, should you cry in the expected... Maybe it's just this font that I can't read. Still, I can't help but wonder what the real beware wanted. Maybe it wanted to show us how properly to be how to properly be a beware. I mean, maybe. What's this place? Oh shoot! That's got to be another episode. I'm pretty sure there are like cafes and. Oh. I can learn ultimate moves there. Hyper training. Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's good to know that you're there, Mr. Hyper. Battle combo move, I'm good. I could buy all of those orbs there. I got all the plates here. Now, I don't know if we found all the hidden plates. I don't... I don't know if I particularly, like, have an interest in hunting down all the plates. I love that subtle hint. I, I just love stuff like that. Okay. Oh, what's this? I guess this is another... How, how, holy city, holy city, 52, I'm finding all kinds of events, she's taking longer than usual today, I wonder if she got distracted along the way. <laughs> that deli bird belongs to the farmer who runs the berry fields. She helps deliver the berries that grow, that they grow and harvest in the fields. Bird, bird! Thank you for your hard work. You brought the berry safe and sound. Wait a moment. This isn't a berry, though. I suppose you must have picked it up along the way, but it's not part of our order. Why don't you take it back home with you? Bird? Bird! Take it. Give me that. What you got? Is it a nugget? A shell bell. Okay, sure. Thanks. What a silly bird. If there are extra berries, she has them down in her gullet in seconds. But even Deli Bird can't eat a shell bell. Did I just write that in my notes for all that? Is that is that what I actually did? Nice and 5330. Nice and Machamp, just walking, acting like I didn't see him. <gasps> Ooh! Hello there, you must be one of Illima's friends. Come on in, any friend of my son is a friend to me. Just one thing though, I'd like to hear what you think of my boy. Is he doing a good job as a captain? I'm not really sure. Sorry, I probably didn't ask you something like that out of the blue. Our Illima has just always been obsessed with Pokemon battling ever since he was a boy. He's like a different person when he battles, you can see it in his eyes. I've always been a little worried about whether he would do all right as a captain. Sorry to hold you up. If you're looking for Ilima, he's in his room. And finally, Ilima is in his room. Ilima. No. Whoa. What did I just do? That's actually the second. Actually, I know exactly what I just did. It's the second time today I've done it. Hey, you won't even let me. Okay, there we go. Elima. That was, we'll call it at about 57. Alright. I don't know if I need to do anything else, really. Flex! Let's just make sure we're talking to everybody. Let me gain the captainship, blah, 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 blah. Oh. 
Alright, Ilima, it's been a while. Oh, Ilima, Ilima. Getting ready to record his next very episode of his Let's Play. Thank you for coming, Domino. And you've arrived with such exquisite timing. I've been conducting research on battle planning for quite some time, and at my last simulation is complete. Would you be so kind as to test it with me? Sure. You have my gratitude. Very well then, to the trainer school. Wasn't expecting this. Are we battling? Before we begin, allow me to explain. It's not battle results that interest me, rather it's the carefully thought out strategies or novel tactics employed by trainers. How those plans affect one's opponent and influence and influence the outcome of battles, that is where my interest lies. Now give me everything you've got. Okay. I wish I was expecting that so I could have healed, but I suppose I should have been expecting that. He won't be that high. He'll be like level 56. 60, okay. That gumshoes is tiny. I should have just used uh, Beach Life. Oh, wow. Smeargle, why would I switch when I'm smacking you up as it is? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Power Whip. Uh, I don't even know how much damage that did. It, was, it did so little damage, I didn't even notice it moved. All I know is it said he used Power Whip and... Uh, Omala. Ooh. I see you, Ilama. I see, I see you out here trying to get some... Trying to get some strong Pokemon. I see you. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to get healed up. If you could help me out with that. Just trying to get healed, so I don't have to go to the Poke Center. Thanks, Ilama. The Hacks Goddess. Back at it. In a month, Hacks Goddess. <laughs> Still right there. Yes, it seems that you were once more victorious. Oh. Wonderful. What a truly wonderful battle. I'll be feeling the aftershocks from that battle for a long time to come. That was the best I could have hoped for. The way that Ilama looked in that battle seems to linger in your mind. Thank you. Allow me to treat you to some tea and snacks back in my room. Will you be on your way then? Allow me to offer you this as payment for your assistance. <coughs> when a Pokemon holds an Everstone, it will not evolve. It has other effects as well, but let's set those aside from now. May your friendships last as long as an Everstone. You're not fooling me. There's so many gazing discoveries yet to be made. Someday I hope to share them with everyone. That's not everything. I've heard about... Wait. Oh, that's so awkward. Oh, get up. Get up. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, help. Ah, what do I do? Oh, my God. Oh, my... Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I've got a... There's another event, isn't there? Yes, it's me, Alima. Congratulations once again on completing the trial, Domino. I have a favor I would like to ask of such a lovely trainer. You'll be willing to help me out, right? I would like you to go to the deepest part of Verdant Cavern instead of me, the captain, and place a piece of Normalium Z on the pedestal that is found there. And so, I give you this. I found the other quest. I'm afraid I'll have to take the stage to fill a role in my mother's place. But there are many young trial goers starting their island challenge now, inspired by your success, Domino. Don't let them down. Uh... Hey, peace out, Elma. Don't ever invite me to your room again. If we're gonna talk, we can do it in the living room with your parents standing right there. Ooh. Ooh. 
Alright, I need to heal. And then, uh... Continue. What? What more? Oh, shoot! Oh my gosh, I'm coming up with so many things that we need to do before the, before the LP's over. But that's gonna wrap up that Illima section. Next will be, uh... I would imagine next is probably his thing, but we'll cut to whenever that happens. Isn't this Guzma's house? There's another book. I see the book right there. Oh, a Guzma event. Welcome to, I'm sorry, but are you Domino? Uh, how do you know me? From my son. Guzma has actually come home a few times since all of that, and he told me to give you this if you ever came by. That's right. Tell him we got swagger. TM87. Tell him may I got swagger. TM87. Hey. All right, Guzma's house. 107. All right. It was always one of his favorite TMs. He won so many trophies when he entered battle competitions with the Pokemon he taught to use Swagger. Ah, uh, those are bronze and silver. Can I lay on his bed with his mom standing right there? That is... This is just a creepy mechanic. Ah! Uh, she said... Lady, you don't even know. Your son almost blew up stuff. The world. I mean, just as an example of some of the things he almost blew up. Now, does Guzma like... Because right now, he's off. He's he's doing his own thing. He's training. He shows up as a uh, champion. So here we've made it. We have, uh, we have made it to the Vernon Cavern. And we've been tasked with going to the deepest part of the cavern. Gatos! Okay, that's cheating. I was way past this thing. Anyway, we've been tasked with going to the back of the Vernon Cavern to drop off a Normalium Z. So, he said that there was going to be, like, additional trainers coming. So, does that mean that... Does that mean that... Uh, does that mean that we're going to have to fight one of these trainers that's incoming? I think... Based on... I, I don't know of any other missions that are in... On Melee Melee Island. All you need to do is place the Normalium Z you got from Illuma on the pedestal deep inside. However, you will be attacked by the totem Pokemon. To the totem, any and all who enter are opponents who must be defeated. That's what it means for a captain to train a totem. But you made it through your own trial, right? I'm sure you'll be fine. Now let's test what you're really made of. <laughs> the totem wants to fight me again. The totem wants to fight me again. Oblivion Plus is our first person. Feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through, but from where? Will you place the Z crystal? I will throw the Z crystal. Come on. Is that the exact same? I'm almost tempted to not kill it. So I can see what it's going to call for help. Because I can kill it in one shot. As I did the first time I played this game. If you remember... My boy... What are you calling for help that's so helpful that you felt the need to hit protect? Die.
Peace! Oh, he's got a berry to take less damage, and I still owe code him. Oblivion is a monster. Oblivion is a monster. He had a berry to lower super effective damage. I think the background might be different. I'm not totally sure, but I think it might be different. Alright. Our ninth totem falls. That's cool, though. Radicate disappeared. Reached out to place it. What an incredible trainer you are. <laughs> did I sound like Captain Illuma just now? But you did just as well as we might have expected, Domino. Even the totem that Illuma has been training up was no match for you. In the place of our captain, I present you with a fine gift, so all may know what a great job you did for us. Trial Guide Cap, Trial Guide T. Can I not have Trial Guide Pants? Anyway, um, how should I do this? Nah, that's fine. We're gonna keep going on here. Uh, I'm gonna fly out, actually. What I was thinking was, uh, I was thinking about doing an actual outro. But we'll do that after we for sure finish everything on Melee Melee. But that's the, that is the Illuma, that's the end of Illuma, pretty much. Well, we've made it back here to where we began the episode. Um, and we've done now, to my knowledge, everything that you can do in Melee Melee Island, except take Lily to the Battle Tree. We're going to save that for a few episodes and let us finish everything that we can do on all the islands. And then we'll go ahead and do a couple of Battle Tree episodes. I think doing an in-depth playthrough like this and not doing the Battle Tree is kind of a bad idea. So that's what we'll do. Um, but that's everything. If I miss something, please let me know in the comments down below so that I can complete it. So I can actually make this what I think is the most in-depth playthrough of this game on YouTube. Again, on that as well, let me know if I'm wrong. But if you enjoyed, if you had fun watching this episode, hit the thumbs up down below. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next episode of our Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.